Hey, what's going on, y'all? So Jay from Jay's Films, and like I said earlier, we're going to be checking out the new sample project for the machine learning deformer that just came out this morning. Um, this is pretty interesting. So if you want to download this and follow along, it's right here. The machine learning deformer sample. Just download that, but I already have it opened here, which, by the way, I'm running out of freaking space. I have so many Unreal Engine uh, versions. But this is a project here. As soon as you open up, you'll see it. So first things first, let's go ahead and um, play this here, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. Because this is this is really freaking interesting here. Let me put it in full screen. So No, they demoed this in GDC, but seeing this in project, inside the project, obviously, is a lot better. Now, checking out the actual skin material for the semen right here, it's actually not complex. So you might see a lot of shadows or flickering like that, but it still looks pretty darn good. That's cool. So we have a fade here. It's fine. So again, I'm just in here because this looks incredible. If you've been using MetaHumans or Unreal Engine 5 for animations before, what you just saw probably blew your mind. And it honestly blew my mind. Again, whenever they do all those demos, I usually take those with a grain of salt. But this is pretty close to what they demoed in GDC and on their YouTube channel. So... As far as I know, this uses machine learning, meaning you're going to need to train stuff. And reading up on this right now, unfortunately, you are going to need Maya for the training for your model, right? And to kind of show the side by side of this, to kind of just see how good this looks, if you go to the actual BP, of the character, you're gonna see your regular mesh and all that stuff. But if you go down to the upper costume and double click this uh, machine learning deformer asset here. So this is that animation that you just saw, okay? And again, if you're watching it by itself, you're like, what's the big deal? But on the left side right here is your regular animation, right? Linear skinned. And this one has the training machine learning applied to it. And watch if I play this now side by side, you're going to really, this is the same animation we just played. You're really going to start seeing some improvements there. If you use MetaHumans, you are going to be familiar with the shoulder stuff. This is pretty common to a MetaHuman animation. But if you look at the machine learning in the, in the middle, you can see that those shoulder shrugs are a lot tamer. And additionally, it looks like they're using chaos cloth for the um, for the middle one, which looks good too. Because if I pause it, you see that the uh, the cloth actually rests. See, just like that. That's huge. But my question is, how complicated would it be for, say, me, like uh, an Unreal Engine filmmaker in here, to actually use this system? And I started digging into documentations, right? And there's actually a pretty good tutorial on this. But again, it looks pretty darn complex that I don't think the regular Joes and Jonettes are going to be necessarily using this for their animations. Because right now, as it stands, the way I'm looking at it, I mean, I might be dumb. It looks like the process is actually pretty complex. And again, it's going to need you to use Maya, right? So it looks like you train it in Maya, you export an Alembic file, and then you use that Alembic file as a geometry cache. And that's what you're seeing here. Kind of like what I just showed you. Yeah, there is, so, so I'm thinking there's some ROM procedures that you're going to do that's going to allow you to train your body. And right here is the train model. And then set up the blueprint really just like you saw in the project. And again, that's why I like messing around with the project because you can actually see it in here. Raw, right? It 
This is crazy, man. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think. I just wanted to open this up and kind of show it to y'all. And, you know, some of y'all people at work right now, I want to know your opinion on this and the use cases that you're going to use this for. I mean, this looks incredible, man. This is going to take animations to a whole new level. But at the same time, is like, I don't like Alembic files because they're so big, first of all. I just don't like caching animations, period, like cloth physics and stuff like that. But, ah, man, this is crazy stuff. This is some good stuff right here.